Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a little bit Ableton and Windows specific workflow tip that I can give you. Um, as you may all seen and know um, by now, I like to create wavetables and um, part of that process is resampling sounds and then throwing them into Vital and then I, you know, create wavetables out of them. And part of that workflow um, before I knew about this trick that I learned from Shep at Mute Production is that I would loop this sound, hit Control Shift R to export it, save it as a new file on a folder in my computer, and then drag it back into the synth. And it was not efficient enough, um, and it was pretty uh, tedious to do it that way. Because the issue that I was having <clears throat> is that if we initialize a preset, let's say I want to drag this sound. Um, let's, let's record a new sound, actually. So let's just play. There, we got some new material. And then we can drag it over here. Let's delete that. So now I have a clip that I want to resample, for example. And part of that process um, was like, if I want to drag it in here, it's going to stop me from doing it because I think it's due to Windows doesn't allow you to use file and other programs that are already in use because this is already hijacked, in quotation marks, by Ableton. So Serum can't handle the file at the moment. So as I mentioned before, uh, one way was to export it, save it as a new file, and then drag it back in. That would work completely fine. However, um, Shep um, told me that if you right click and then crop the clip before you throw it, it's going to work. Ta-da! And this is a huge time saver. So I thought I could share this little trick because I've seen people, um, uh, people around the web having this issue and they haven't really, um, and they, I haven't seen a good answer on how to go around that without exporting it. But now there is, and that is to crop the clip before you throw it into whatever you want to throw it into within Ableton. So yeah, thank you very much, Shep, for showing us uh, or showing me that one. Um, it was a huge time saver. So thanks again. And um, this is a non-issue for you Mac users. Uh, I believe you don't need to do this, do this, but for Windows users, it's pretty much <laughs> mandatory uh, in order for it to work. So, right, um, that was all. Thank you.